Welcome to tonight's recap of American Idol. It's the top five results show. Results night. So shout out to all our friends on Beamly. Hi. We love chatting with you guys. If you're not doing it yet, you should be. You should be. Otherwise, you'll deal with the consequences. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which are none. Well, right. Ryan dropped a huge bomb on us at the beginning of the episode. Actually, he tweeted about it beforehand, and he was like, there's going to be a twist tonight. What? A game changer? Unprecedented no twist. All right. Well, more on that later. Yeah. First, big news. Harry is so proud of the top five. He gives a little speech, and he's like, you guys were nobodies before, and now you're kind of somebody. <laughs> okay. Thanks, peons. You know, it's like, you are a bunch of peons, and yeah. I have ultimate power. Thanks, Harry. You're amazing. <sighs> Do you Let's know get what a to... pocket is? <laughs> Let's get to Supper Club, Pentatonics. All right. Well, it was a smaller table than yeah. usual because, you know what? It's a People smaller are group. getting cut. So, Gina wanted to know. Caleb, does it hurt when you sing that high? <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> then they talked about um, the shocking celebrity crushes showing up, like Zoe de Chanel uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, Ariana Grande for Sam. He fell up the stairs. I didn't notice that last night. Yeah. Did That's you pee your pants? You should ask Ariana. Oh. I think he did. <laughs> All right. So then we got to see the Ford commercial. They were having this party. They got two turntables and a microphone. They got this cool, like, shark thing. They had a canoe in the pool. Yeah. A rowboat a boat in, in the pool. I think it was a rowboat. And Caleb was grinding away on some unknown chick. He's going to invite her for the three-hour makeout sesh in his car. Then they're going out for pizza. All right. <laughs> so anyway, next, one of the highlights of the episode of the season. Of my life. Keith performed not get crazy. his new single, Good Thing. Wow. Keith is an amazing performer. He's a performer. I've never seen him perform before. Really? No, I haven't. I have. And I, I have to say, I think it was pretty awesome. It he was. was rocking out with his chicken out. Yeah. And J-Lo thinks he's cute. J-Lo. Yeah, but it of was fun. He is. It was a lot of fun. He, he's a very animated performer. I'm not even a country music fan, but I was digging Me this. Neither. It was fun to I watch. I was digging it. It was I think a pretty we might good have song to go too. see Keith perform live. I love, that. I love the Pete feet. All right. Well, <laughs> it's results time, but it's also twist time. What? Ryan lets us know that tonight it's in the contestants hands. Two options. Option number 1, do it the way we usually do it. Person with the lowest votes goes home. Option number 2, no one goes this week, but next week to go home. What? But the catch is they're going to have a secret ballot. All five are going to vote. And in order to save someone this week, it has to be unanimous. Oh, my God. Just like the judges when they had their save. It That's had to right. be unanimous. This is like the contestant save. All right. So... The way they kind of like lagged a little bit before they went to commercial, and yeah. Caleb was like, "So we're just Everyone's gonna vote yes, yes right?" <laughs> so I'm thinking this is a no-brainer. Why not just have everyone say yes? Well, and the same amount of people are going home next week. Yeah, but if you had gone. a good week this week and you're feeling comfortable, why not get rid of somebody? <sighs> Even though you think you may have had a good week, though, it's up to America. I don't know, but they came back from the commercial and it was time for Ryan to read the votes. Well, he read the first vote and it was a yes. The first three were yeses. That's right. He gets to vote number four. And Jessica starts going like this. It was a no! What? And the fifth vote was also a no. Yeah, which I means... I wonder who the two stinkers were in the I bunch. I know. I'm really curious. I wonder if that's going to come out next week, because I'd I think love so. to hear it. I think so. So then we find out that the lowest is Sam. What? I'm not, like, shocked, but I was I'm kind not, of... I'm not shocked. I was expecting Jessica to go home, but I'm not yeah. surprised that it was Sam. Are you guys surprised? Leave it in the comments. Um, Would you have voted... To, have to save everyone? 
I would have. I don't know. Why not? I don't know. It depends who I was. If I was Caleb, are we all voting yes? <laughs> <laughs> but if I was Jessica, are we all voting yes? All right. Uh, I think Sam is going to be phenomenal after the tour because yeah. I think the only thing that he's lacking is experience. He needs experience. He needs to just get out there, feel more comfortable. Exactly. I so think I, it's going to be good for him. I think he's going to be amazing. His, like, final performance was pretty good, it too. It was pretty good. Grandpa's going to be so proud. Oh, I'm going to miss seeing Grandpa in the audience. He'll still be there. <laughs> all right. He's going to all the tours. It's part of the show. All right. Well, that's it for this week. Next week, it's the top four. <gasps> Exciting what? stuff. We're almost I'm done. very excited. And don't forget to chat on Beamly next Wednesday yes. at 8 o'clock Eastern. Link's in the bottom. <laughs> Not really. Okay. What? Until next time, <laughs> much, much love. love. Edit. Edit.